Hello everyone, this is Pilpo. Welcome back to Ocean Block. So, last episode, I noticed it whilst editing, but yeah, once we got the three string that we were supposed to get for this quest here, it actually gives you a bunch of string. So, the rest of them, like, I think I went out to over here to get a couple more string to make this, but I could have just actually completed this quest. Kind of wish I did that, but oh well. Oh, this is going to give us a random. Oh, yeah, that's good. I don't want them to be like. I don't want them to be too overpowered because otherwise it just takes the fun out of it for me. Um, so what did I do between episodes? So between episodes, I built this thing here. It's well, I'll give you a give you a demo. Oh, never mind. That just basically you can vein mine all of these. This is all built out of this stone brick instead of cobblestone, so I can just vein mine and it gets uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It gets twelve per, which is pretty good. It's better than just getting the one that I was getting last time. But the reason I did that, and I actually did it with the hammer until the hammer broke. Uh, but yeah, the reason I did that is because that gets us gravel. And with the gravel, we can start sifting this. I'm not sure I mentioned this in the last episode, but sift this and get start getting actual resources. So I think something that's going to be quite important is to have some storage for the, these resources. So, oh cool, that's one of the things that's in here. Put a double chest, yeah, just one double chest. And all I'm gonna do is sip some gravel. I think sand actually has a better chance of giving you, oh, oh tell a lie, there's some iron. So you can smelt, smelt these iron down to give you show you actually in a smelter you can do that to get you some just nuggets you can craft them up into these iron chunks or clusters but I have found with these clusters that you can't just smelt these up into a single bar uh, without using something like tinkers or yeah like a quartz grindstone something like that so actually I think you can use it in this tempered glass but hello. we are just going to get as much iron as we can and we're probably going to set up some tinkers at least the melter in this episode which actually reminds me do we want to do this now or should we just go straight for tinkers I think we go straight for tinkers right now which means I have to break some of this down into sand and yeah, I'm gonna have to set my drippers back up so I can make some more clay. Actually, I'll have some clay. I don't, that, that's probably gonna be enough, but yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this in, down into sand, make some grout, and then start on a melter. And I'll be right back. So I've got some grout smelting down into some sea of bricks. Um, whilst I was doing that, I was having a look at the quests. And we do have these two here. I didn't notice that we got these earlier, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do them one by one to see what we get. What the? Okay. I think that uses dragon's breath. Master blood orb. Okay. We don't need this yet. Um, it was pointed out to me by one of my friends that we did get the miner's pick and there was something else in here. Rock candy, that was it. So these are two more trinkets. And if I go to my trinkets, let's have a look, see what they do. Movement speed. Yeah, I don't really need movement speed. I'm only in this area for now, so. 
and improve mining speed. That might be quite useful for when we're over here doing doing some mining for getting some a big bulk of resources, but yeah, for now just actually it wouldn't be that good because we still need the altar miner. If we could have altar miner and that and we can just mine like a bunch of this, that would be great, but for now let's just start making the melter. So what does that take? So we start off with one of these. I did make some glass as well, so we can make one of these. That's one. Then we need a heater. See a heater? Okay, that's two. I think that's everything we need. Just one of these and one of these. Uh, I'm actually going to take that grout out because we can double this grout in this melter. I think. I know you can do it in the smeltery, but I, I'm guessing you can do it in the melter. Plop this over here. There you go. Melter. Easy. So, uh, one thing that we will need is a. Do we need meltdown? Not enough heat. I think we give it some heat. They do melt down, so that's quite useful. We can, in fact, we can use one of these. I'm not sure how much this is going to give us. Hopefully, at least one ingot worth. Five. Okay. Damn. So that gives us our cast. I'm just going to empty this out because I don't think we need gold for much else. Not for now, anyway. Uh, what, what can we use gold for? That would be quite useful. Feral flare. The uh, feral flare lantern actually. Uh, it says places invisible lights, but that just means it just lights everything up, and that means nothing can spawn. And it does it in a 16 by 16 radius. So chucking a few of those down is going to be quite useful. I swear there was something I was going to make that required gold. I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. I do want to make the time in the bottle. I know it's quite kind of cheaty. It's a bit of a polarizing topic, the time in the bottle, but we do have acceleration wand. Hmm. That's quite expensive in comparison to this. I mean, once we get diamonds, then hopefully we'll have a good source of diamonds at some point. And yeah, it's relatively cheap, but. I think it was that that I was looking at. It might be something different, but I think for now, yeah, I need to empty this out. I wonder, do these give like any other like iron? I think that's everything. What about these iron spikes? Can I melt those down? No. I do want to get one of these item recyclers at some point, but it does take, well, we need iron bars. I'm sure we can go find that in some of the junk uh, crates around. But this does take one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it back. There we go. So that's 14 iron, plus we need to get some bars as well. I'm going to check to see if this does melt down, because if it does, no, it doesn't. Damn it. I thought that was an easy way to get some iron, but obviously not. Okay, so we've got this all sorted, so I think now what we need to do is just I'm do it on sand, because I think sand is it's got a better chance of giving us iron. 53. Oh, that's on gold. Okay, so. 33. 
can actually get at that time, but it's 33%, whereas on gravel... Cloth mesh? Yeah, it's 44. Okay, so maybe we do do the gravel. Um, so I'm just going to get through this stack. I'm going to try and get enough for the iron sluice. Actually, that's not too much, and we do have chains. Yeah, I'm going to go for the iron sluice. And then... Yeah, I'll be right back. So I did get enough for an iron cluster. So if I mount this down, I think you get two iron from this. I mean, we're about to find out, but hopefully if this gives us one iron, three nuggets. Okay, so not quite as much as I thought we were going to get. But at least we've got one iron now. That's quite nice. I'll come back once I've got the rest of the iron. So I did get one more cluster of iron. So smart on that down and I will Okay, I'll turn this sluice into an iron one. Do it something like this. There we go. So is it this way around? Yeah. So what this does is lets us automate it slightly. Let me just fill this up. And what I mean by automate it is we can once we get a hopper, we can put a hopper on this and fill it with gravel and it'll go its content will go straight into here so just keep sifting and I'll be right back once I've completely finished this or I've got enough for a hopper and then I can put a hopper on this also uses less water that's, that's cool to know One thing I did decide to do is actually upgrade this straight away, because why not? Uh, we are going to have to put this... Oh, I think I've got enough heat, but... Once this is mounted down, it will be saved in this mounter here. So that means I can take the heater. Okay, that's done. So I can take this heater, put it in here like this and pour the copper over it. So I had three clusters which turned into four copper. Uh, where is the cluster? Oh, I went back to it. There it is. That turns into a half a... Do you actually get some gold out of it? That's... Oh no, because that's lava. I'm not sure, but that gave us the sieve controller. So from, from this, we can build out... I don't know where I'm going to build. I might build out this way, just because... This seems to be our... Move the bed. I'll move the bed over here. Just for now. And, yeah, so we can build this out over here. Where's the middle? There's the middle. Stick that there. I'm not going to make a very big smarter to begin with because I don't have the, the grout for it but yeah I'm going to have to smell this grout up now because I already turned that into into this so yeah I'm going to smell up some grout I'll probably make some more grout and yeah I'll be back with what I get up to so I did end up making a tinkered smattery but I don't know if any of you noticed what I had to do there, which is I had to rebuild this to get some copper ingots to make this thing here, the seared drain, because it takes copper. I completely forgot about that. Rookie mistake. Um, the other thing is this won't work for a little while because we need to get lava. So I think lava is our next. I mean, we do have the lava here, but we can't make more lava from that lava so um, to do that we need to make this jar 
So if I go into recipes here, let's have a look through here because you can make lava just in this. There it is. So you need to make this, put some sort of fire underneath. You can use like a campfire or a torch or something like that. Stick some cobble in there and it will get you a bucket of lava. I think it spits it out as a um, like fluid container from what I've seen from others. So we'll be needing those so we can just fill this up and start smelting. Also this is Diddy because I didn't realise about this having to make this and as soon as I made the, the fuel tank I'm not sure you can use the, the heater I mean we should give it a go in fact that's what I'll do now so stick that in there for now it does highlight it as red now which is quite useful but it does go away after a while and now that's red meaning that this is not yeah, invalid. This is not what we need for this. We need a... Yeah, we need our tank back. So I'll just stick that back in there for now. Okay, right. So... This is how I was getting my... Using my grout. Was putting it back into this smarter. Because you get two per. Which is way better than sticking it in... A furnace. Uh, I did set my drippers up over here to make some more clay because I needed that for the grout uh, after my silly mistake. But yeah, um, I think from now I just need to make as much iron as I can and progress on to making these cast iron stuff. Actually, we've got the quests to look at. A bunch of new quests have opened up. I don't know if that's because I've done something or they've added it. Uh, but yeah, there's loads more. Uh, okay, so I get a random reward. Iron seeds. That's. I don't think I'm going to be using those because that seems very cheaty. Oh, this does give us some some iron. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that. Wants us to make some cast iron ingots. So to make these, you just stick them on a camp, stick some iron ingots on a campfire, and we need one, two, three, four, five, six. I already have some nuggets. I think I found those out in one of the crates somewhere. I've got these nuggets here. I'm gonna take one for now. I do apologise about my inventory. It's not the not the tidiest of inventories. There you go, tidied it. Perfect. Stick this back in here. You can't mix in this, so you can't have iron and this seared, seared stone because, I mean, that's one way of making this not as overpowered. I mean, it doesn't give you that many ingots per. It doesn't give you. It doesn't double. It just gives you one point three. So from that, I did get four ingots. So I'm getting close. I think. I'm going to use these to make a hopper, and then I'm just going to chuck a load of load of gravel. Although water is an issue, I think it. That, so there's there is another quest here for the manual pump. Okay, so it's actually not that bad to make. Just need lots of iron. What's that? So that's uh, nine iron. We have got a bucket, but I'd rather keep one on me, just in case. Yeah, okay, so I'll do nine plus I need five. So 14 iron is what I'm, I'm aiming for with this. So I'll probably have to do some manual stuff, and then I'll be back when I've got all the iron. Uh, I'm going to just leave this in here for now, because that feels too cheaty to me. Right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the iron now, but whilst I was looking in here, I did see that yeah, we do need to get onto this at some point. Uh, and I'm debating whether to make the manual pump and the hopper. 
or go straight for the cast iron tubes, which gets us into the jar mod. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna automate this first. It sounds a bit counterintuitive because well, it doesn't really. No, it does because we could use this to then get lava, which then we, means we could put it in here, which means we can double. Uh, this casting basin is just here, by the way, because I'm, I'm just going to swap these two over when I can. I just put that there because it looks a bit weird just having the seared faucet straight over a, a plank. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just get on with that crafting. Uh, I do need to smart up some stone. Tiny coal in this. Oh, hello. Charcoal raw by chisel. No, we do not then. Okay. Well, it's going to annoy me if I don't do eight, so I'm going to do eight. Because I think the fuel, even in this Inferium furnace, I think the fuel is still the same. It's just slightly quicker than using a normal furnace. So I'm going to smelt these up and then I'll put them in either this furnace or I'll just put them back in. Uh, once I do that, I'm going to make the buckets that we need. And I've got a chest somewhere, don't I? Yeah, right at the top here. So I'm going to make the hopper. I can show you what I mean when I say you can hopper items in. I mean, it's half explanatory really do that. Check these in here. If that had any water, in fact I can give it some water with, with the uh, tons of buckets I've made. <laughs> okay, one more. No, I can put another one in. There we go. So that's finished. So I'll just stick that back in. That actually does get us experience, so that is one way that we could get to unlock another spot. So that'd be quite good if we uh, get the mining one, so we can just sit here and mine. Although I do know that eventually we can get into cobble generators. It's just it's relaxing to just sit here and mine away. Uh, but for now, see that. That already took all eight of them. I'll just stick all of these in, why not? I have um, clumped up a few of the ones that we were using. So we need as many, uh, just need iron. We need uh, lots of iron. So we've got our three here. I think we needed water buckets. One, two, three. I bet we get them back as well, the buckets. Well, I hope we do. Okay, manual. I do not have... I think I can plank, okay. Easily rectified. And that is our manual pump. Yeah, I knew it. I knew we'd get the buckets back. And we've got some crates as well. Got just a small crate. Okay, that's kind of a crap reward, but it's you know better than better than being OP like these iron seeds. Uh, speaking of seeds, I do need to set up a farm at some point. The whole reason I went for the string straight away is so I could get grass, so then I could make uh, some cotton, so I could get more string. But now we don't really need string. Uh, we will do it eventually, but for now we don't. Uh, I don't know if this is sided. I need to put this against something. I might do this. So for this, you uh, you just you can right click it until about five minutes, and then you'll start taking damage. So it's not like you can wang a bunch of uh, gravel in here and then or, or whatever you want to sift and then sit here the whole time afk for ages and then all that gravel goes you have to 
a little bit more manual. I know you can uh, set up like a hotkey and sort of tick manipulate this a little bit and get this to five minutes in just a couple of seconds, but I'm not really about the cheaty life, so I'm playing on the hardest pack and I think we're on hard as well. I don't know how you tell anymore. Is it in options? I am on normal. Oh, I'm bumping that up to hard. I swear I put this on hard. It's not like I died or anything. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's got a little bar on the back as well that tells you how much energy it's got in it. But yeah, this will give us plenty of iron. In fact, that gives us four more. And how many did I say we needed? We needed one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sweet. So we've got four here. So we just need to wait until we've got another 12 iron chunks. Um, this is a pretty cool mod as well. You can just press K. I think it's, you can keep binding it to whatever you want, but you can just press K and it will condense down anything in your inventory you can actually do it in if you're clicked on crafting table or station or whatever it is if it's a nine by or a three by three so this i think if i do this i'm not like that i've got stuff in there you can't do it on the crafting station that's interesting you, you could probably do it on a regular crafting table but yeah, what you can do here is you just press K and it will condense down. But in your inventory, if you've only got a 2x2, two two, condense that down with K. Uh, I've got some quests. Uh, storage. Uh, obsidian boat, brilliant. If you don't know about these, uh, I think I've got a few already. Yeah, I've got two. Excuse me, just coughed. So, with these, if you want to swim out to really really far all you need to do is put them down oh no you don't because it sinks <laughs> i wonder if that'll stay there now we can see it still i don't know if you can see that on youtube but i can see it. it's just right here i think eventually once we get the diving gear i might go to see if i can pick that back up Ooh. if it stays around it might despawn after a while stick some dirt in there instead then so the dirt will get us seeds um, I mentioned seeds quite a bit in my first episode sure okay it's always good uh, but yeah once we find once I realize you've got a bunch of string it's not that not that useful now yeah so We do need to just make more gravel and sift a bunch of gravel. So I'm going to go off and do that. And once we've got enough, we'll come back and I'll make this uh, this jar from the FTB jar mod. Uh, I think both of these are quests, actually. Let's have a look. Go back to here. Getting started. Yeah. So once we've got cast iron, you've got these quests here. Um, you can automate it as well. I've seen people doing that. So I think next ep episode we'll get into automating it. But this episode we'll set up the jar, get some lava. And I think we'll get the smeltery sort of at least working slightly. I'd, I'd like to get that done. Lots of seeds. We still haven't got. Yeah, okay, we've got the grass seeds, so and that, that's um, that's the one that we can use, and it will just turn any dirt into grass. Again, I don't think anyone's gonna really be using this except if you're on this map here. Uh, so the other the other starts they have grass right so they're not going to really be using it too much but yeah it's good for us so what we need is more gravel so 
so I'll be right back once we've got actually I'll be right back once we've got enough iron to get going with the jar mod so I did manage to get enough iron um, now I need to make a campfire which I actually do not know how to do because I've never made one before I've never had a need um, I'm not even sure when campfires came out. I know there were a good couple of updates ago, but I never knew what they were for exactly. Uh, I didn't even know you could put things on them. I thought they were just decorative pieces that people used for their like chimneys and things like that to see the smoke come out the top. But yeah, apparently they have got uses. So I'm going to start by just Googling it. And I have none of those items. Okay, so it's just uh, any log, sticks, and a piece of charcoal. We do have coal now because of this. Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's just about to run out. Yeah, so sticks. We've got lots of sticks, lots of logs, and some charcoal as well. Let's have one from here. I don't know exactly where to put this. I don't know if it will catch my my raft on fire. Um, I don't really want to put it over here. I'll put it. Well, I'll put it right there. These are going to fly everywhere, but I like to live dangerously. I know you can catch yourself on fire on these as well, because I've done that a few times when I've played maps that have. Campfire's just there when you spawn. But yeah. These are cooking up into what are they call cast yeah, cast iron. Cast iron, very nautical themed, which is uh it's good for this map. So we do only need six, so I'm only gonna put these two on. So let's let's have a plan and see what we can zoomed out oh so we only needed four actually so we actually have enough right now if I put these on can I just get those off I can good so I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna need to use iron for other things so let's get this pipe thing going not a quest good that is a quest so I'm gonna I'm gonna just oh nice. I'm just gonna start claiming all of the quests as soon as they come in because of that stupid string. Um, so what do we need for tempered? We do need tempered glass, so that's just glass. Oh, okay, on a campfire. Do we have any glass? Oh, we've got loads. Nice. This gives us sixteen. So. I broke my campfire, brilliant. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I've already got it open, so it's useful. Uh, yeah, let's chuck it there. One, two, three, four. So, so what does the, the quest gives us? So we need a tempered glass and we need a glass jar, which is just regular. We can do that now. I don't really want to leave this just in case they pop off and they go down here. Mm -hmm. I should probably go underneath and cover this area so I can't like fall down here. Oh, there you go, I'm on fire. Uh, one, two, three. Gives us seven. Uh, do I have a button? I did make my the rest of my drippers. I did lose one. I think it was when my axe broke last episode. Uh, normally it just doesn't let you break the last item, but I think it must be uh, an ultimine and tinkers. Oh yeah, that would make sense. If it broke on the second... So if it hit the first one, broke on the second one, the third one I was using a non-axe item. And I think you have to use an axe on these to pick them up. 
So that does make sense. Uh, what was I doing? I needed a button. And whilst I did that, I bet these are gone. Oh no, there they are. Wait, not seven. Now before I do that, I do have this quest that I just completed. Wait, oh, it gives me a bucket, that's fine. Got a million buckets now. It's another quest. White elevators. Uh, I mean, we're going horizontally, not vertically right now, but uh, we'll find a use for them. Eventually at least. So, for a lava bucket, so we just need to make a lava bucket. Okay, this gives us a, a nice image of what we can do with this. Uh, so that's five, six. I don't have any redstone. I don't know how you get redstone. Redstone clusters, once you get them from. Only from gold. And diamond, obviously, but... Fair enough, okay. So, I think you can go around, yeah, you can go around and probably find redstone in in the crate somewhere. I wonder if it was saying here. Hmm. Maybe you need to make item recycler. Well, that's a lot of iron. Uh, I think for now what we'll do is we'll delay using that and stick that on there. It does have a nice little interface on it. It's the first time I'm using this jar but it seems relatively simple to understand. Let's do that. Oh my god, how long does it take? Two minutes. Okay, we'll be back when this is done. Okay, so this is almost done. Let's see what it gives us. Fluid container. So, this is kind of a cheaty way of doing it, but with the fluid container, uh, I can stick the, the lava in there, and then I can get it out to get my lava bucket. Uh, so, I don't really need to do it this way. What it's trying to get you to do here is automate it by pulling cobble out of the chest pushing it into the uh, what's it called? tempered glass jar and then sticking it into one of these jars. So these can actually, I can show you actually, can't I? These can hold lava. Uh, but yeah, I skipped that bit. So what does that give me if I open this up? Uh, it's more crate, that's brilliant. Go in there with the other crate. Okay, so I think that's everything for this episode. Uh, next episode, hopefully I'll have a little bit more energy to do things. This episode, uh, recording on a Monday after, well, late after work. And I am pretty drained, so I apologise for that. But, yeah, hopefully tomorrow, I'm feeling a little bit sick as Yeah, I apologise for that, but yeah. Not much you can do about that. Mondays is Mondays, right? There's a reason Garfield doesn't like them. <laughs> so yeah, I think next episode we'll set up the automation, like it says, in this quest book. And between episodes I will do some more sifting and I'll get a nice bunch of materials. I did put some dirt through this, by the way, so that's why this looks like this. And I did the middle click button, which was a mistake, because now they're all in different orders, but it's fine. Anyway, see you next time.